Hey everyone, how are you? I hope you're enjoying your day wherever and whenever you're watching this video. We got a ton of IO merch for sale and we're giving you guys a discount code to use, so you gotta be sure to check that out. I'm also gonna respond to some of your comments and questions at the end of this video. And if this is your first time here, let me say welcome to Inform Overload. We upload multiple videos daily covering science, aliens, space, entertainment, and just worldwide news in general that make newspapers look like boring old pieces of paper. Do you guys even know what a newspaper is? Also, I'm Jared, but I'm sure you guys all knew that by now. It usually says my name right down here. So let's talk about this ancient city NASA found under a forest. Really amazes me how much we can discover thanks to technologies. Using a special type of technology called LIDAR, or L-I-D-A-R, the scientists were able to make a discovery of a lifetime, and it's pretty cool. Deep down below in the area of the Beaver River in Oklahoma, NASA revealed they found evidence proving that there was some type of settlement there 10,500 years ago. That's like more than a few days ago. The technology used recreates a 3D image of what the Earth looks like, but also has the ability to show a bare Earth, stripping away obstacles such as bushes, trees, and give scientists a clear view of what the surface of the Earth looks like. Thanks to this technology, scientists can then use a laser-based remote sensing tool to get a clear view of fossils and bones hidden below the surface of the Earth. Reports believe the city was inhabited by hunters and gatherers who would hunt bison by leading them into dead ends before attacking them. Lee Bement, an archaeologist, says that NASA's new technologies, I quote, saved us a lot of time and effort. Meg Waters, an expert in these technologies, said, I quote, you'll never find bison bones with airborne lidar, but you can find the geological features that suggest a place to look. End quote. So not only does the technology make life easier for scientists to find new discoveries, but it'll save them time and effort to put into other discoveries as well. This is the same technology that was used to find White City, a lost abandoned Honduran city that was discovered just last year. So what does this mean for us regular people? Well, not much other than there's clearly a lot more about the Earth and life in general that we really don't know about. And there's no doubt that we will continue to discover new things such as these underground cities and buried fossils for hundreds of years. Which when you think about it is pretty cool because we'll be living through history. I mean we might even be featured in a history book someday. Think about that. It's really not that cool. I don't know why I got excited for a bit. But you know what is cool? When you guys comment on our videos. So be sure to drop us comments and all your thoughts so I can reply to them in future videos. Now in the video we did about the 22 year old with Sleeping Beauty Syndrome, Dean Liddell said for a second I thought you said what's up Dean, but I know it's what's up team. Yeah, I always say what's up team, but what's up Dean? Said it there. Shin Boland said please, I would love to be in a video, please. Well, you got your wish. I'd rather you guys not just say please have me in the video, I'd rather you guys ask me comments and questions. So. I guess it's like the last time I'll probably do that. <laughs> Matthew Desrochers said, would you rather be a known superhero or a famous villain? I'm gonna go like one of each. I would probably wanna be Superman because I've always liked Superman. He's jacked, he could see through things and he has laser eyes, he could fly. He could literally do everything that you would wanna do except maybe get invisible. And the only thing that kills him is something from another planet. So who's gonna get that except for NASA? And they, they're only going to Mars right now, so I'm not too concerned about that. Villain, probably the Joker. I mean, he's sick in the head. I guess maybe I shouldn't say that, but He's like a crazy guy, and I'm normal, so I guess I'd wanna see what it's like to be crazy. All right guys, that's it for this video. As always, you gotta drop a comment with all your thoughts, and I wanna know what superhero or villain you guys wanna be. So let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.